Hi, well, first of all, sorry for my accent. I'm not English, I'm not uh, American as well. But I'm going to try my best. Okay, we're going to create now the query <laughs> that contains uh, two special values the month sales and the year to date sales. This is going to be done through custom calculations in Report Studio. We're going to choose first uh, a field which is state, and then we're going to create a custom date item. Uh, which is going to show only the sales from a given month. We're going to choose later the month from a prompt. For now, please notice the expression we're going to create. Uh, this expression is actually saying that if the month number equals to our month parameter, then calculate the sales. Otherwise, display null. Okay? Please take a look at it and notice uh, the question marks at the beginning and at the end of month. This means for Cognos that month is a parameter. Okay, we're going to give this field a meaningful name. It's going to be named month sales. Now we're going to create the year to date sales. It's actually very similar. We're going to just copy and paste this field and now we're going to see uh, how to create the year to date sales. Actually, the only change we're going to do is to, uh, on the condition. Instead of equal, it's going to be less or equal. Later, we're going to filter the, the year, of course. Okay, now we're going to drag the query into our report page so we can create very fast a list. And now we're going to create the prompts. For creating prompts, we need a prompt page first. Okay, we drag and drop the page and we just double click on it. So we're going to select now the prompts. The first one is a value prompt. A value means that the user can select from a, a different list of values. Now we're going to use our first par far parameter. It's going to be month. So for this purpose we're going to create a query named month underscore prompt. And we're going to select uh, the first field, uh, the, the month name, and the second, the value to use is going to be the month number. We need both, and now we'll see why. We're going to create the, the, the second prompt, which is going to be the year. The year doesn't exist already, so we're going to create it. This is a new parameter, it's named year, and again, we're going to choose it from our table dates. Okay. Now, we're going to see how it affects only the sales query. We don't want to affect the, the month query. So we're going to give this a meaningful name again. It's going to be year underscore prompt. In this case we only need one value because uh, the, the, the name and the number of years are the same. So, okay, here we have our two parameters. Let's check it, how it goes. Okay. Okay, there we are. We have the year prompt. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks kind of messy because it's, it's not in order actually. So we're going to right click on the year prompt and go to query. Now we're on the year underscore query. We're going to choose sort, sorry for that, sort and sending. Okay, so we can see at least the years in an ascending order. We're going to run again our report and then we have our values. Okay, now we have at least the years on an order basis. And there we have uh, the month names, but the months <laughs> are actually order as well. So we're going to fix it now, okay? We don't want the months to be sort uh, on the name, we're going to be sort on the month number, okay? That's why we need both fields on the prompt. Mm -hmm. We're going to check it. Okay, and now we have uh, the month values, but we have at the end, can you notice this is not available? Th th this value is not a month, actually. So we're going to erase it from, uh, from the results uh, we can use. And since this is a query, we can use any condition. So we're going to, uh, to display only the month names, which are not, not available, okay? This is a very simple condition, I guess. You don't have a problem with that. Very easy to understand, okay? Now let's check again, and we should see only 12 values. Okay, those are the months, okay, no problem. So now, <coughs> okay, we're
we're going to run the report again. The problem we have here is that we have so many years, and I don't think uh, we have sales on every, every one. Okay. Now the month seems to be going well. The calculation is is, is running good as well. But we need to fix this year issue. There are so many. <coughs> so what we're going to do, we go again to our year prompt and we're going to create a filter. We're going to filter only those years which have sales on it. So this is very easy. Yeah, we're going to select uh, only those results with the sales which are more than zero and create an after aggregation filter because this is this is just for, for performance issues okay so now we see only those years with sales and we see the months in the right order and this is it this is the report the first uh, the sales month and the second is the years to date okay thanks for watching